everyone. Happy Sunday. I was just about to make the eggless egg salad, which is in my Everyday Happy Before Cookbook, but it's also on the blog, and there's a link somewhere um, in the description of this video. If Anyway, so I'm making the eggless egg salad for lunch because my husband requested it, and it's one of his absolute favorites, and it's also something that gets better like every day when the flavors get a little stronger, and so it's going to be really nice to have leftovers for some sandwiches during the week, and it's a super easy recipe that you can make without any cooking because it's oh, so hot right now, and it's just super fast to make just when you come home or for lunch or work or whatever, and you don't have to cook anything, and it's yummy. It's a vegan eggless salad, but it's actually really good for you, and um, like I said, it gets better, so if you make it today, then you'll have some lunches and dinners, and oh my gosh, it's so good to put like uh, like in celery to make like a little boat as an appetizer. It's a really fun party thing, and I've had great success feeding this to omnivores, so just between us. Anyway, oh, hi, thanks for the thumbs up. So let's get um, going. Oh, yeah, yesterday's video, a lot of you guys asked what this was, and it's called a Potato Express. I call it a Potato Pocket. I'm not a spokesperson for this company. I just really love it. I have like five of these things. And um, you just put a potato in it and you put the potato in the microwave, and it's like a baked potato. It's a, just a better consistency than if you microwave without it. You can also defrost bread in this, and um, I think you can do corn on the cob too, but I love these things, and I, I love them, so buy one. Um, I got mine at Bed Bath & Beyond with one of those little 20% coupons. All right, so, whoop, I think we're good, see it? Okay, so it starts with some tofu, and I am using like the firm, um, not the super hard, hard one, but not silken, like, because I don't want super soft eggs. And I already drained it, but I'm just going to take it and crumble it into my bowl. And if you don't want to use your hands, which I get it because texture is a weird thing for some people, you can actually use a potato masher to crumble your tofu. And I actually do that with my tofu scramble. It's a really great hack, but I don't mind using my hands. It's just faster for me to use my hands, so... So just crumble it up like so. And you can make it as, you know, crumbly as you like. I just kind of crumble it once, and that's it. All right, give my hands a quick rinse so I'm not still covered in tofu. And now I just have to add the spices, stir, and voila, all done. Oh, I totally forgot to chop my celery. So you can get, you guys can see how I do my little celery chopping. So I don't keep the, the big end. I just cut that off and use it in my compost. And then I'll usually cut it again just to make it smaller. And then these little sort of smaller pieces. And you can add as much or as little celery as you like. If you don't like celery at all, you can just omit it. I usually like to do about two stems or two stalks of celery, but my husband doesn't like celery, so we meet in the middle with one. Just adding that in really quickly. And now it's my spices. All right, so you could do, I'm doing, actually let me start. I'm using nutritional yeast from Trader Joe's. Super glad that they are, keep, are selling nutritional yeast now. I hope it stays at Trader Joe's. I also noticed my Kroger has it now, so that's exciting. You don't have to go to Whole Foods anymore or buy it on Amazon. Uh, so, we go. I'm doing just, just over one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And the great thing about this is you can add everything else to taste. Let's see. One tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm actually using gluten-free tamari, but you could also use coconut aminos. And I always do low sodium. So just give that a little love. Dijon mustard. I'm just using generic organic. Some Dijons are really horseradishy. I wouldn't use that in this recipe. And I really like Dijon, so I just do like a nice big squirt. Dill. You could also mince up a dill pickle if you like. The recipe calls for two tablespoons, but my husband really likes a lot of dill in his egg salad, which that's a personal taste, so I always add a little bit more, probably closer to three tablespoons. Now I need some turmeric, which is what makes it yellow. It's about a fourth of a teaspoon or just a few dashes if you want to keep it simple. I also, my secret ingredient is a pinch of curry. Sort of my, like, 
secret ingredient that I'm sharing with you guys. Let's see what else. And now, whoop, I need a little bit of garlic. Again, about a fourth teaspoon, but I just do a couple of shakes. I just kind of make it intuitive and fun. A little bit of onion. Same thing, about a fourth a teaspoon, but I just do a few shakes. Let's see, we're, we're getting some artwork going on here. And I do a whole bunch of black pepper because I really, really, really love black pepper. So, Now, the super secret ingredient for making eggy things taste like eggs without eggs is black salt. And you can buy this on Amazon, any Indian sort of grocery store. Some big supermarkets have it, but it's sort of like purplish in color. And it smell it smells like eggs, and so I always add this. If you don't have it, no big deal. You can still make it. It just it really doesn't make a difference. So here we are. All I have left to do is add my mayo. I make my mayo myself. It takes one minute. There's a video on YouTube of how I make it with tofu. But there's tons, so many vegan mayos on the market now that you could use instead. And Trader Joe's uh, has a vegan one too. If you're gonna go there, so I just add like I don't know one or two tablespoons. Not a whole lot. You can also use yogurt. Um, I know some people who use the coconut milk from the can. It's all, it's really a matter of personal preference there. And you just mix it together. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm so ready for lunch. And that's it. All done. Yay! Time for my eggless salad. Oh, thanks for all the thumbs up and hearts and likes. You guys are the best. They love you so much. Um, who wants to come over and help me eat this? Yeah. No. Oh, wait, wait. I have a friend. Look. Wade. Here, I'll get him. Come here. Come say hi to everybody. Mm. <gasps> Hello. Say hi. Can we put our tongue back in our mouth? No. You gonna tell everyone to have a good Sunday? He just, he just wants to eat. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Okay, um, have a great Sunday, everyone. Just to kind of do a rundown of what I use, generic mustard, gluten-free tamari. You can also use coconut aminos, um, dill relish, but you could use a dill pickle. I made mayo myself, but you can buy it. Curry powder, black salt, you can get it on Amazon. Garlic powder, um, onion powder. I, I, You can see, I buy generic, guys. I, I don't buy anything special. Um, and I also use just sort of like regular old firm tofu. So super fast, make it, it, like I said, it just gets more delicious as it goes and you can tweak it to your own personal tastes. I might even add a little bit more curry because I'm feeling festive today. Um, oh, lemon's also another nice addition. So with that, have a great day, everybody.